Welcome back to another week and another video, you guys. So this week we are going to be showing you our sink installation, plumbing, water system, everything like that. Hi, I'm Lloyd. And I'm Alex. In 2020, we purchased our Sprinter van and named it Chip. We spent the rest of the year converting our van while documenting the process along the way. In 2021, we will be finishing the build and moving in. So sit back and relax as we share our van life experiences. So first, this is our sink. It's an Ikea sink. It's called the Findig sink. It's just a basic small, one of their cheaper ones. And it's meant to be overmounted, but we are going to be undermounting it for you guys today. All right, so we've lined it up from down below. We're happy with how it looks. Now Alex has that pencil mark there. We're gonna pull it up, put a perimeter of silicone on. Okay, so not all drill bits are created equally. If you do construction, obviously you would know this. We're relatively new to all this stuff. So this piece here um, absolutely did the trick. So you just need to find one that's gonna be strong enough to go through your, in this case, stainless steel. The sink is on and now it's time to install the butcher block. Okay, here's a brief walkthrough of our plumbing solution. This clasp will connect this pipe to the P-trap. The P-trap will wrap around. It will adapt here. We have yet to uh, PVC cement this closed, but what, what we have going on here, this will essentially fit into that a little bit more snug. This will adapt this diameter to this diameter. We have this vinyl hose here that's gonna go out from that adaption and then it's gonna go down to 90 degrees. This is our exit for the gray water which will be sliding into place here. And so how this is gonna happen is it's gonna flush down here. Water will stay there preventing any odors from coming back into the van and the water should exit into our gray water tank. So down below, that rubber hose will connect to our copper tap. Right here is going to be a little show piece where our tap will come up, over and out. And then this will be where we'll be able to do our dishes. When we hit that pump, it's going to suck all the water up and into the tap. So we'll be able to just stand here, wash our hands, there you go. It's gonna work. We're gonna make it work. Tell the people what we got. <clears throat> so, we have this four piece tube bender set. It goes, bends tubes all the way from quarter inch to five eighths ID. And we got four feet of soft copper here. That is three quarter OD. And half inch ID, I believe. Yeah. Since we are limited by uh, the how far we can insert our spring, and since the spring is so critical uh, to be where our bend is in order to prevent kinking, what we've done here, if you take a look, is this will be the bottom. Uh, this will, around here is about what's going to stick through the butcher block and down here will connect to the water system. From here up or so will be the height that's going to go up from our butcher block and then over here, this is all going to be the bend zone and since this reaches to this point, we should be able to prevent kinking in this scenario. The only downside is all of our leverage is now gone, so we really gotta just be able to crank it. Okay, so uh, 
The reason we were cutting that is because the internal diameter is screwed up over here and it, we can't fit the spring in it. So we cut off a little bit fresher of a piece. Obviously it's kind of gross right now. Uh, in an ideal world, we would clean that out, but we're gonna kind of rush it and just stick it in there. And what this is gonna do is be our leverage, since we cut off our leverage earlier. And I'm thinking about there, I think about around there. there. Right because, kind of in the middle of our curve. Yeah, because realistically, this is like half, and then we want this to come down yeah. and this to stay. Alright, we are about to do a test run of our water system. Ooh. It's coming. Ready? Yeah. See how fast you can get. Well, it's stuck here. It's on the bottom. So I push it in and then it takes a bit to suck it up so you can't go too okay. fast. That's good. So you're just squirting it up. We should grab the scissors and maybe cut it without this one stuff here. Okay. Uh-huh. See what? I'm gonna have to spiral around it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Alright, and just those few pumps gave us this much water, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get the spray. Don't, honey. Yeah, go. We have water! Yahoo!